said we were in for some severe storms that day. We weren't worried at the time. Storms crop up frequently here in the Ohio River Valley in spring. However, we had no idea just how strong these storms were going to be. It was Friday morning on March 2nd, 2012, when I, and I was 15 years old. I woke up and got ready to, with my siblings to go to our co-op school, Woodland and Richmond Academy. As we were driving to school, I noticed dark clouds on the horizon and wondered how long it was going to rain that day. Throughout the day at school, the sky kept getting darker and my family began to get more and more worried. My mom received a text message from our local weather station saying that there was a tornado warning for Clark County. Concern, concerned, my mother called up our neighbor to notify her of the coming storm. She told my mother that rain was pouring, was pounding our neighborhood, and the winds were knocking over all the trash cans and outdoor decorations. My mother told her to take shelter as the storm was nearly there. After the storm had passed, we realized that we had been lucky. When we got home, I checked the local news station. There was an actual tornado reported, an EF4, on the Fujita scale, but it missed us by around 7 miles. Instead, it moved north of us, starting from Fredericksburg up through Pekin, Daisy Hill, Henryville, Marysville, and Painesville. After that, it crossed the river into Kentucky and hit Mount Pleasant and Monitor as an EF3. The damage was extensive all along the path of the storm, but Henryville was covered by the news the most because the tornado went directly through the center of town. A second EF1 tornado had also spawned off the first one and touched down three separate times throughout the city. My family was in disbelief, and, and I thank God that not many people were injured. I would have immediately gone up there to help, but the city was placed under curfew. It was only until the next day that did I really get to see the damage myself. My father, mother, and I volunteered with Samaritan's Purse to aid in the cleanup effort. The destruction was like nothing I've ever seen before. I mean, I'd seen a tornado destruction on television, but the feeling it gives you never hits home. It's always distant. In person, it's much different. I was in awe. The town was obliterated. It looked like someone dragged a giant finger through the city. The road off the expressway was in a strange state, showing the bizarre nature of tornadoes. On one side of the road, total destruction. On the other side, standing buildings intact. The Baptist church next to the school was surprisingly spared as well. There was a parking lot full of maintenance vehicles flipped over into heaps on top of each other, twisted into gruesome shapes. Debris filled with the ditches and pierced trees, signs of other and other structures. The school's gym roof was ripped off and missing the east wall. The school itself partially collapsed. Trees were downed everywhere as well as the remains of cleaned up power lines. But I, I mean even a school bus was thrown into the house and another was launched into Goodfellas Pizza. The part that stuck out to me the most, though, was the hail. Bought baseball-sized hail. Almost every window and windshield of each vehicle in the town was shattered. Hail pummeled 
every structure, denting everything. I cannot imagine what it must have been like to be caught outside the storm. I helped the cleanup effort by clearing debris from yards and landscapes, occasionally aiding in moving large debris with others. Older volunteers used chainsaws to cut through trees that had fallen on houses and clean the inside of houses that had been pierced by debris. Everyone had a determination to do the most they could to help. My heart went out to the people affected. Looking back, the whole incident was surreal. It is one thing to see on the news, but it's completely different to actually be there. The experience was overwhelming. After being there, you definitely have to have a different mindset about these things. Being there and living so close to Harryville definitely changed how I look at weather and severe storms. Now, when the strong storms are forecasted, I take these forecasts very seriously and follow the radar path of these storms. I don't blow off warnings either. After seeing the damage that Janelle brought upon Harryville, I realized that I'm powerless to stop the wrath of nature and vulnerable to its fury. I make sure to get others and myself to shelter as quickly as possible for fear that another Henryville incident may happen. Only this time, I'm the one staring face to face with death itself. That day will be forever ingrained in my memory. It's something you don't forget.